Baby Sussex will take that seventh place spot in the line of succession. We now have a line of succession that looks like this. First in line to the throne, we have Prince Charles, Prince of Wales. Number two, next in line, is Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge. Number three, we have Prince George. Number four, we have Princess Charlotte. Number five, we've got Prince Louis. At number six, we've got Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. And number seven, we've got Baby Sussex taking his new spot in the line of succession. Poor Prince Andrew falls the Duke of York to number eight. And then at ninth, we've got Princess Beatrice. Tenth, we've got Princess Eugenie. And out of the top ten, we've got Prince Edward, the Earl of Wessex. The introduction of the 2013 Succession of the Crown Act meant that there was no longer any prejudice based on gender. If you were to marry a Roman Catholic, it meant that you still could stand in the line of succession. The change to the Act also came in handy for anyone below sixth in line to the throne. It meant that you no longer needed the Queen's permission to get married. So for Princess Eugenie, when she married Jack Brookbank, she didn't actually need the Queen's permission. Thankfully, she's a huge fan of Jack, so it didn't matter anyway. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.